Morning everyone, welcome back to a new video. It's Monday morning, it's ULES day. So unfortunately, my van is not ULES compliant. And uh, yeah, this is uh, unfortunately a sad day for me. Uh, at least for now anyway. Um, so basically, if you don't know about this, um, also this is a reminder as well, because um, I'm trying to remind people just in case they are, are going to be affected by this. If your vehicle isn't ULES compliant, you will need to pay £12.50 every single day that you drive within London, any part of London, within the North Circular and South Circular. Obviously, I live within the South Circular, South London. Um, so yeah, I have to pay £12.50 every single day, Monday to Sunday, to go to work. And you guys know I work many times, seven days a week. So that's basically a £90 every week that I'm going to have to spend to basically just the privilege of leaving my door to go to work. So yeah, unfortunate time for me right now. Um, yeah, so obviously I'm going to have to change my van at some time. But the sad thing is as well that once this thing kicked off, the prices for the vans, well, the vans that are non-compliant anyway just dropped so we've, we've all lost money on our vans and then vans that are compliant are just now more expensive so everything's a bit of a shambles to be honest but you know we'll see how it goes for the next couple of weeks i'm just gonna have to pay it uh and that yeah but anyway we're um on the job um we've been down to the site we are going to be running some pipe work for a radiator in the extension something i forgot to mention before we're going to run um, some radiator pipes in there for a radiator we're going to tee it off a radiator that's in the existing living room so we've already cut out a section of the plasterboard to get to the back of the the wall where the pipes are which we're going to tee off and um so we've done that <coughs> and um, we're just off to pick up a couple of bits we're also going to self-level the extension floor today once we run the pipe because the pipe's going to get run in the screed so we're going to have to cut a little bit of the screed run the pipe into a little bit of it and then we're going to self-level the floor and the extension and also we're going to complete the last bit of plasterboarding on the other side of the um, partition wall on the existing living room side just complete that so if we can get that all done today tomorrow we'll complete the skimming of the living room side of the partition and also the skimming of the little cupboard area and once we've done that, we are pretty much ready for decorating um, of the house. So, fun times. But yeah, so I'm just going to grab my brekkie. Mr. A is also gone off in the shop somewhere. And uh, once we do that, pick up our own materials and then we'll meet you guys back on site. So, hopefully we'll see you in a bit. Take care, guys. All right, guys. So, first thing, we're going to bore this hole from um, the, this the living room side through to the uh, extension side so we can get the uh, pipes to the back. So we're gonna be using flexible barrier pipe, the gray one, and uh, just a lot easier to work with what we're trying to do here. So what we do now is um, we've got to put this radiator on the right hand side of the door here. So we need to get the pipes obviously across and we're gonna run them in the ground. So we're gonna have to cut a channel out in the screed and um, we're going to use um, some 32 mil pipe as well um, to basically use as a conduit for our, our pipe. So you should do this if you're gonna bury um, pipes into screed. Um, the pipe can also be pulled out or new pipes can be pushed through if necessary as well so there's loads of space for the pipe to um, pull through so we're gonna basically um, bury this and then we'll use a rapid set hit, uh, cement and before lunch we will uh, just uh, cement that in and then we'll be able to do our uh, self level after lunch So our pipes are buried, we use a, a quick dry cement 
and we just uh, buried them in there. Now we're just gonna prime the floor with some SBR and then let it dry, then we're gonna self level.
So guys, this is it uh, for today's the finished product. We managed to get our self leveling done and it's looking good, nice and smooth, nice and level. Ready for its flooring. Also, we got the radiator fitted on the wall, connected up at one end. Um, we were a little bit short the self level, so we need one more bag just to do this little area, but that's fine. We can do that tomorrow when we got proper access to the other side of the room. And the room is drying out well as well. So good progress today. I'll show you guys the other side of the pipe work. So this is where the pipe comes through into the living room. So we basically got to run it inside that cavity wall to the left and uh, run it around the back here. And then we are going to tee off to these, the floor and return here to go to the radiators. So tomorrow's job will be to do that first thing and then to complete the partitioning plasterboard. And that'll be it. Yes, sir. Me and Mr. Yeah, we all for the day. Yeah. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Take care. Simple.